and gentlemen, the following contest is the finals of the WrestleForce Championship. It is scheduled for one fall with a one hour time limit and is to determine the first WrestleForce Champion. Introducing first with victory tonight over Vordell Walker in the quarterfinals and a bye in the semifinals from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing in at 236 pounds, Chase Stevens. My people like me, that's all that matters. His opponent with victories this afternoon over King Shane Williams and Stephen the Fever Walters from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 204 pounds, John Schuyler. John Schuyler's got to be at a definite Come disadvantage. On, he hurt that leg against Stephen the Fever Walters in the semifinals. Chase Stevens has had a bye to rest. I'll give you you just straight into the finals, so and on top of all that, John Schuyler is a lot smaller than Chase Stevens. It's true, he's giving up about 30 pounds here. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Charles Carr has sent Stephen the Fever Walters to the backstage area. And you know Chase Stevens is going to, first chance he gets, he's going to go after that leg. I wouldn't blame him. Smart strategy and right up. And not to be prophetic, but there you go. That's exactly what happened. Stevens, right after that knee. You know, Stevens was in there in the back watching the monitor. It was exactly what happened to John Schuyler. He wants to be the Russell Force champion, Jared. You gotta wonder, I mean, is this title worth it? Like, is it worth risking your career to win this tournament? You think Skyler making it this far would surely be in line for a rematch or he did not be successful. He's not going to get another shot if he can't walk. Skyler, give him credit, he's fighting. You have to wonder about the condition of that knee. Is there ligament damage? Is there any permanent damage in there? The way it's being twisted, it ain't gonna help it out. Sure not. You wanna be a champion, Jimmy? Well, a referee can champion, huh? admonish Stevens all he wants to about going after the leg, but everything up until that point was perfectly legal, and they can't use the ropes, but he does have a five count. I know Skyler's trying to protect that knee, but was it wise to advertise the fact that your knee's hurt by wearing that brace out there? Well, don't really have much of a choice. Well, to his credit, Stevens probably knew anyway. I'm sure he was watching. Did you hear that on TV? Oh, and Skyler fights back. Trying to fight back. There's the size difference, just one right hand by Stevens. Skyler is being punished on the outside. You want to be a champion, don't you, buddy? Oh! 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 Get up! I think Skyler has seen better days. Stevens is blatantly taunting the man. Oh, that knee is being punished. Skyler is screaming in pain. I don't think he's got much more in him. Oh! 
but he hit that kick. Wasn't enough. What's it, that, that leg's damaged. You just, you just can't follow up. Oh, it works! I, I can't believe it. I don't either. And the first Wrestle Force champion, John Skyler! That kick put Chase Stevens down, and that's all it took. You got that super kick of John Skyler can come out of nowhere and can just put you out. And John Skyler has won the Wrestle Force Championship. And he Amazing. will go into June 16th showdown at the Falls as the champion, Jared Shapiro. I can't believe it. I mean, it was a, it was a short one-sided match, but somehow John Skyler pulled it out. I, I never would have thought John Skyler with that injured leg would have been able to pull off this victory, but he did. Congratulations, John Skyler. Absolutely. Your new WrestleForce champion.